Oh, welcome back to the Rob Ryan Show, doing a little Stuff Nerds Need edition here. I've got another review, and I think we're going to talk about this. If you have not already checked out the review on the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, then make sure to click on that at the top of the video. I did a whole review on that. I talked about what I was trying to do. My other mouse is going out, the clicker's going out, and so I was having some issues with that. And so I went and got the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse as a recommendation because everybody recommended it and said, this thing's amazing. And I didn't like it, and I gave it a pretty negative review. But I did get a huge recommendation for this mouse right here, and I know it's a gaming mouse, so it's a little different. Now, I wanted to say really quick, the one thing I liked about the Logitech MX Master 3 was that you could connect it to three different computers. So you could have a USB on one, and you could have two other Bluetooth, maybe even three other Bluetooth, actually. But I thought the Bluetooth was glitchy. The USB receiver, you could only go six inches before it died completely. Again, maybe it was a lemon. I thought the clickers felt cheap. I didn't like the way the scroll wheel worked. I just didn't like, and by the way, even the ergonomic wasn't phenomenal. In fact, my hand actually started getting tired using it. So I just was not a fan of the Logitech MX Master 3. I didn't necessarily need a gaming mouse. I already have one. I have a Logitech G502, which I know is one of the ones that people recommend all the time. It's sitting over there at my gaming computer. I use it all the time. It is wired. I didn't want another wired mouse. I know wired mice are significantly more responsive, but I wanted something with a little bit more freedom. So instead, I decided to do this. And what I may do is if this thing really is amazing, I may use this as my gaming mouse and then move my Logitech G502 over to my other computer to replace the other Logitech that the clicker's going out. Now, this is something that it intrigued me because the guy said that there is a, the Razer optical mouse switch. So it's supposed to give you significantly more clicks than a normal mouse would. That Logitech, what is it? I think it's a G602. It's one of those wireless ones that actually uses, you know, real batteries. It's, it's old school. I've gone through three of the, that's my third one of those because the clickers go out about every two years, maybe less depending on how much you click. Well, with audio editing and other things, normal day-to-day -day use, that's a lot of clicking. So you get about an hour, what is it? A year and a half to two years out of that. And you know, those things run about, I think 70 or 80 bucks. So I'm thinking like, okay, you're spending 80 bucks every two years. Maybe that's kind of ridiculous. So when the guy at Best Buy, by the way, told me, hey, this thing's amazing. I use it. I love it. It's phenomenal. It's fast. It's responsive. And I get a lot of clicks out of it. And it's supposed to go 70 million clicks, which is pretty impressive. Why not? And it was on sale. So let's get into this. Now, I already uh, pre-cut this just to get going, but I haven't opened it yet. So here we go. Opening it. This is the charging dock that it comes with. And basically, when you take that plastic off, it just sits right up there like that. And that also acts as an extender for the wireless transmission. Welcome. Thank you. Unleash your true potential. Yes. Documentation. There's your, ooh, nice, braided. That's, that's actually high quality. And uh, that's going to connect into your USB on your computer. And of course, this is going to connect either into your dock right here. Or, and I like this, you can connect it into the end of the mouse right there. And so if you want the wired mouse experience, there it is. If I like this thing, maybe I won't use it for gaming. Maybe I will use it as just a, I don't know, I feel like you should use a mouse this good for gaming though. I feel like, and then the G502, which I've had for, man, see, that's another thing that 602 that I've been using dies every one and a half to two years on clicks. Can you, do you know how many times you click in a game? Really? I mean, especially if you're doing first person shooters and stuff like that. And my G502 I've had for years and it's never gone out yet. So what's up with that? And I like, by the way, having rechargeable batteries or no batteries because going through double A's all the time and that other mouse is a pain in the butt. Let's try it here on this computer first and then I will try it gaming and come back for a final verdict. I like RGB, you know? I, a friend once told me that if you haven't blown a fuse in your breaker, you don't have enough RGB. Wise words, my friend. By the way, this is your on and off button. I'm not sure, I, probably a sync button, which I haven't done yet. Charging port, of course. Uh, this does resistance, which I have not tried well to figure that out, but this end right here is where your USB receiver is. And I just wanted to show you that before I plugged it in. There's your USB receiver and I will now plug it into the computer. All right. And here we go. So I'm using the mouse right now and it, oh, it is moving. That is very, very nice. Let me see if I can, uh, so this is not plugged in by the way, this, this is just done. 
I'm just trying this as a as a wireless option. Okay, so in this particular situation, we are a solid two and a half, almost three feet away right now. And I mean, it is smooth. It is beautiful. Wow, very, very nice. Um, hand position feels pretty good. These don't release the scroll wheel. That's fascinating to me. I do believe, however, though, if you turn this here, the resistance, that is supposed to... So we're going to go this way. That is supposed to change the scroll wheel. Yep, there it is to be almost like, almost freeform. Super easy. It's a lot faster as you can see. Then you change the resistance and it can be more clicky. That's really neat. I like that. Okay, so far I'm impressed. Interestingly enough, it looks a little jerky on the recording, but um, on my screen where I'm actually looking, it's not jerky at all. In fact, it's very, very smooth, very nice. Whereas when I was doing the Logitech MX Master 3, it was jumping on my actual screen too. But the scroll is very nice. It's very accurate. Uh, by the way, if you've not checked out this episode with Vincent Puglisi, The Wealth of Connection, it's phenomenal, by the way. Check that one out. We've got a bunch of episodes we do here at The Real Brian Show. So, uh, yeah, as I'm scrolling, we've got our Friday TRB's happy hour. Literally, anything goes. It is literally shoot the breeze. Grab your favorite drink. Come hang out with us. Uh, no format, no agenda. We just have fun on Fridays. It's, it's a blast. Of course, I'm doing all the product reviews on, on Thursdays, typically. Uh, Tuesdays, we've got our... Gosh, this is nice. Tuesdays, we've got our movie and TV show reviews, things you know we just have to talk about, which are amazing. Uh, yep, clicking, clicking is very nice. And then of course, on uh, Mondays, twice a month right now, we've got interviews with really cool people like Vincent. So the right click, it's got a really nice sound. Let me, let me play this for you here. Uh, it's got a nice, you can hear that sound. It's very, very nice, very, very nice click actually. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with the quality of it. But yeah, I like it. It's it's nice. It's very responsive, actually. So like a double click is feels good. Left click. It is interesting. It's a different type of click. These guys are right. When they talk about it being an optical click, it feels different. It feels better. Compared to that Logitech MX Master 3, this feels like it's built well. This does not feel cheap. It's very, very light, though. I know that there's software in it. And I can go in and program the lighting and all that and make it do some really cool things, which I'll do because I love RGB, as I've already said before. But the movement is amazing. The scrolling is amazing. The clicking is amazing. And um, I'm incredibly impressed with it right now. So the next test that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to my gaming computer. And I'm really going to test it out with gaming and see how it performs. I already like this feel like massively better than the G502 already. I'm blown away by this. I want to test it. I want to see. In fact, that's actually going to be a little bit further because of the way that my, my computer, if you can see, it's right there. That's the back of the big black beast right there. And I'm going to be putting the USB on the back of the computer to test it. And then all the way over there is the desk. So you're going to be going probably closer to about four or so feet for the USB. So I'll be curious to see if that reaches. And if not, then I will try you know, this as an extender and see if that works. And of course, I'll find out what the charge is like, how long everything lasts and go from there. So I'll test it. I'll let you know what I think. and I'll come back with the final verdict. Final verdict of the Razer Basilisk. I absolutely love it. I think it's incredible. I'm, I'm blown away by it. To me, this was the right decision to buy. The guy at Best Buy knew what he was talking about. I went back. I got this. It was on sale. It's an amazing little mouse, and I really, really am blown away by it. I, I love it. I've, I've been gaming with it. I've been using it for other things like that. This thing, as wireless, is really accurate and really, really fast. And for gaming, I've done just fine with it. I have noticed no noticeable difference at all between this as a wireless device versus a corded Logitech G502 mouse. It uses, as I've mentioned, the optical clicks, which, as I, I was demonstrating earlier, it's a, it's a louder click. You can sort of hear that in the background. So the downside of optical, it's a louder click than a mechanical. Some people like that quieter click and that's fine. The upside of mechanical is I think it feels better. There's two things that they boast. One, the clicks are faster as optical than mechanical. I noticed zero difference. Now, I am not playing competitively. So to me, it didn't make any difference whether it was mechanical or optical as far as speed goes. But for some people, maybe it will. The other thing it boasts is the fact that it lasts longer, supposedly, than a mechanical click. So a mechanical switch may last 50 million or less clicks. I'm not sure. Um, my Logitech G602 over there is clearly not lasting anywhere near 50 million clicks. So that kind of sucks. This is supposed to last 70 million clicks or so with optical. 
buttons are great. Uh, the scroll wheel is very nice. It's very tactile. I, I love it. I think it's incredible. The downside, it does not have a click here to release and go free form. It doesn't do that. Uh, if you want to go more of a free form style, that's where you get into this thing that does resistance and you change the little thing right there and it turns it from super clicky to free, whatever. But it doesn't have a true free spin where, you know, you're going to scroll really, really fast or anything like that. That could be a deal breaker for some. But I think it's a really nice scroll wheel. All of the buttons work really well. Uh, the paddle. And that is the button that is basically on the side. It's up here. Well, actually, it's down here. So I'm holding it. My thumb is where my thumb is at, but the paddle button is actually up here. So my thumb doesn't actually reach it. So it has this little paddle extension that basically goes onto the mouse so that the paddle will actually reach where my thumb is. And the reason that they do a button like this is it's intended to be held down versus most buttons are click and release really fast. So for example, if you're gaming and you want to have a talk, push to talk button, because you don't want to be transmitting the whole time, you push and you hold down while you're talking and then you can release. That's really what it's for. I probably am not going to be using this for anything, but it's here if you need it. So that's nice. This acts as a charging port. So as I mentioned, you put the mouse right on top. It goes right there, sits right there. It charges up, which is also very nice. But the other thing is, is you can take the USB and you just basically insert it down into the right down in there. And there it is. So this is your USB extender because, you know, if you really are a long ways away, you can plug this into your computer. You can run this. I don't know. This is probably a good six foot cord. So you've got a good six foot cord. You run this out and then you can have, you know, you could be using this, like let's say here and your mouse can be right over here. And so you've got a great solid close connection on all that as an extender, just in case you have problems with that. And then, you know, you use the charge every night. So that, um, it's incredible actually. Uh, and again, I had no issues with range at all, but it worked really well. The con, the battery life, not so good. Uh, now keep in mind, if you're using RGB, it's going to go down significantly faster. So if you just want extended battery life, turn off the RGB, the app, by the way, for it is very nice. It uses this device. You can customize this, customize some lighting on the bottom for this, by the way, and you can customize all this, but you can turn the lighting off if you don't want to have that and the battery life will be extended significantly longer. So it is nice in that sense. Um, but for example, if I game for a few hours and I'm using RGB, it'll go from hundred percent down to probably 60%. So let's say three, four hours of usage and that's like ongoing usage. Let's just say that you're going to lose probably between 40 and 50% of battery, which goes pretty quickly. If you don't have RGB on and you're doing light usage, if you're using this just for your computer and you're just kind of doing some, you know, work and stuff like that, and it's on and off, of course, it's going to last significantly longer. So of course, I mean, depending on your usage, things are going to vary when it comes to that. I love it. I'm keeping it. I'm using it. This is going to be my primary gaming mouse. I may use it for some other stuff like that. And I already moved my Logitech G502 over to my Mac mini. And oh my gosh, it's already so much better using that over the G602. And it's great. There's my review. And so make sure to check out the Logitech MX Master 3 review that I did. And I'm also going to be doing a review on the Logitech MX keys and also the Corsair K95, both keyboards. I want to talk about those because those are the two main keyboards that I use and I love them. Check those out. But thanks for joining me. I really appreciate this. I hope this helps. I really do. Some people just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go buy a $30 mouse and when it dies, it dies. And that's fine. Totally up to you when it comes to that. I use my mouse way too much and I need something that's going to click and it's going to be accurate because when I'm doing audio editing, video editing, and just a lot of other work that I do, it needs to work and it needs to be ergonomic and it needs to not hurt and it needs to be able to do what it's supposed to do very quick. When I'm audio editing, I'm literally making the computer try to catch up to me because I'm moving so fast. The computer can't do it. And so I need a mouse that can keep up with me as well. Same with video editing. And then even with gaming, you want a mouse that's going to work really well. And so when I've used cheap mice before, they just don't work as well. Yeah, they're cheap and you pay for it in some way or another. So that's why I'm a huge fan. I'm going to link the Logitech MX Master 3. I don't recommend the mouse, but just in case you're interested, I'm definitely recommending the Razer Basilisk Ultimate. That's an amazing mouse. There is a corded version of this that is cheaper, by the way, if you just want to go for that. Same mouse. 
It's a great mouse. Highly recommend that. I will link that as well. And I'm going to link the Logitech MX Keys keyboard as well as the Corsair K95 keyboard as well. And again, reviews coming up on that, but I'm going to link those as well because they're amazing. So but thank you again for joining us. I hope this was helpful. Have a wonderful day. And this is The Real Brian Show signing off.